Hi, Karen with you today. Thank you so much for joining me. I have a scrapbook layout for Kidaholics kits and I'm using the February 22 kit, both the main and also I'm having a bit of a play with the mixed media kit for this layout as well. My layout today is going to feature a lot of layers. I really wanted to feature so many of those patterned papers that we got in the kit this month. I mean, they are absolutely stunning. So I went through the paper stack that I still have left and started looking at the types of colors that I was thinking I wanted to incorporate because I know I want to incorporate some of those larger flowers from the pattern paper as well. So I'm fussy cutting that out as well. And my layout is going to feature very much in the center of the page today. So I really love that apricotty patterned paper. I thought that that was going to give me a lovely little bit of a base for the start of my layout. And I've just given it a bit of a crooked tear on the diagonal just for some added interest so there's not some completely straight lines because I know I'm gonna use some straight lines in my layers a little bit later. I did use my pencil just to give myself a little bit of a mark on the page where I was gonna put the mousse. So I'm not sure if you didn't get the mixed media kit, I would certainly recommend you have a look and see on in store and have a look at that this month. This Nouveau Mousse is so beautiful to use and it's so lovely and shiny. Um, in my close-ups, you'll really see the shine that you get with that. And if you did get it, I hope you're having lots of fun having a bit of a play. Now, I didn't pre-gesso my cardstock for this one. I didn't think it was necessary. I wasn't going to put any sort of water on this layout. So I was really going for very toned down, just a little bit of color and dimension on the page, um, just under, sort of tucking out from the edges of that patterned paper. So yeah, didn't need any gesso for that at all. And just to make sure I, I know it's strange, I don't do a lot of straight things generally. Um, most things that I do are crooked. Um, even when I try to be straight, I have used my T-square ruler there. Just I did want that first layer to be straight on the page. And I'm, I think I've pretty much nailed it there. I, did, I, I think I did sort of get it as straight as I possibly could. And um, then I go and just start building some of these layers. I've used some of the cutabout components of the patterned paper and just little bits of the tones that I was really looking for. At this stage, I didn't even have my photo. I don't always have my photo when I first start looking at a layout, particularly if it's the pattern paper that has been the one that's drawn me in. Sometimes, obviously, my photo is the one I go, that's what I want to scrap today, and whatever I do, I'm going to scrap. But in most cases, often, you'll see this in a moment. I think, I'm not sure I edited it out. I had one photo in here at one point, and then it does change at the very end of the photo that I do decide to use. So I tried a couple of different ways of adding these layers. So I thought about, do I want to separate them on the page or do I want them all to join up? And if you've watched my videos before, I often talk about this. I, I really get stuck when I separate everything. For me and my way that I like to see my pages evolve, I really like my pieces of my puzzle, I guess, if you wanted to call it that. I really like them to be touching. So when I start putting gaps between things, I start looking at it going, it doesn't look right. Um, so it's just from me, that's just my perspective. Um, and I so I always end up either tossing it away and starting again and I, I, I go with the idea and then I go against it every time because it just doesn't look right to me. I really love how other creatives can can do that because they just look amazing when you have sort of those grid layouts that don't have any, you know, there's, I hope I'm making sense, but I, yeah, I just, I just really like how when I pull my things together and that's all about what you like and what you like to do. Um, and there's no rules as we all know in scrapbooking. Um, but yeah, I really like to have my things sort of touching um, so yeah, so you'll see here that I've started building up these layers on the page and I'm doing a little bit of fussy cutting off to the side here, um, just of some of the st from stickers from the sticker book. Um, I'm, I'm actually putting them onto some white cardstock 
and then fussy cutting them out so I can move them around the page. So as this layout came together, once I'd sort of worked through what the layers were going to look like, it actually became quite a simple layout. I didn't want to overcrowd the layout with ephemera, so I only add a few flowers at the bottom here um, with the fussy cutout flowers, making sure those leaves sort of pick up a little bit and just sort of kick off the page, added that one at the very top, and I add a couple of smaller of the pink flowers as well. And just my title, which is, turns out I do change my photo. I do have a larger one, then I cut this one down. And this is a photo of Jacob. He's two weeks old here, and I'm pretty sure he is. You know, I, it's printed, and I don't have a digital record of that, but he looks about two weeks old. And I've used the titles, for the thickers from the pack as well. And if you haven't used those, you absolutely should have a good look at them. They're all different fonts. And I love that about that particular thickers pack as well. So I'll have all the details and the links below around where you can get the kit. Don't forget if you're one of our subbies, please share what you're doing in, your, in our subby group. Or if you're not, please share what you're doing in our Kidaholics community group as well, which is open to the public. And as always, we love it when you share. So please do join us in the groups on Facebook. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're having a wonderful creative month and I will see you next time. Bye for now.